How do we find the inverse of a function? There's a three-step process. We write y equals f of x, swap x and y, solve for y, and we will have y equals f inverse of x. So we're going to do first, uh, we're going to do an example here. So we're going to start with this function. We're going to find and verify f inverse, but first we're going to check, is this one to one? This algebra is going to be a little more tricky than the algebra we just tried. So we have fa equals f of b, 2a plus 1 over a minus 1. I just put a in, whatever I saw, x, equals f of b, 2b plus 1 over b minus 1. Now we're doing something a little bit weird. We're not solving for anything really in particular. So we're supposing this is happening. And we're trying to solve for a equals b. So I'm putting this inside of a cloud because this is our goal. It's what we want to get to, solve for a equals b. So step one, fractions suck. We're going to cross multiply by the denominators. Now I'm going to foil both sides, 2ab. Uh, minus 2a plus b minus 1 equals 2ab minus 2b plus a minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. Those will cancel. 2ab, 2ab will subtract 2ab from both sides. Those will cancel. So let's get all the A's on one side, all the B's on the other side. I like things to be positive. I'm going to add 2A to the right side. So we have A plus 2A. I'm going to add 2B to the other side. So we have 3B equals 3A. Multiply both sides by a third. B equals A. This is what we're looking for. If uh, if we get here, we have a one-to-one -one function. So the answer is yes, we do have one-to-one. -one. So I can write f is one-to-one, -one, check. So we have a one-to-one -one function. Now we're going to find f inverse. We're going to do this three-step process. So y equals f of x, which is 2x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now before I do anything else, we need to make sure step two, swap x and y. x equals 2y plus 1 over y minus 1. Now we're trying to solve for y. Easier said than done sometimes. Fractions suck. We're going to multiply by the denominator. Uh, distribute here. xy minus x equals 2y plus 1. All the y's on one side, all the x's on the other. Let's go, doesn't really matter, I'll move the y's to the left. xy minus 2y equals x plus 1. I just added the x to the other side, subtracted 2y to this side. Now, we can use my favorite f word, which is factoring. y is almost by itself. One last thing to do, divide by x minus 2. This is f of x. Uh, this is f inverse of x. So we think we found f inverse. We followed the procedure. Hopefully didn't make mistakes. How do we know if this is correct? What we're going to do is go back to uh, function composition. I'm going to compose f f inverse. So we're going to check by finding f of f inverse of x. This can be a little bit tedious, but if you do this, what should we be, uh, what should the result be? If they are inverses, they should cancel each other out and you should be getting x. 
So it should be f of f inverse of x equals x. So we're looking for this to be x. Now I'm going to very carefully, these, both these functions are tricky. We're going to have multi-story fractions of fractions. It's going to be really ugly before it gets better. I'm going to use an entire new sheet of paper for this. So we're working inside out, f inverse of x. Now what is f do two x plus one over x minus two plus one divided by x plus one over x minus two minus one. How in the world do we simplify this? We do need to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, but we cannot do it until we have only one term on the bottom. We cannot have a plus or a minus here. So I'm going to go uh, common denominator, add this, and subtract that. X minus two is the common denominator on the top. Uh, X minus two is also the common denominator on the bottom. So we have two x plus two plus x minus two divided by x minus two. So we have x plus one minus x plus two over x minus two. We'll simplify three x plus two minus two cancels out divided by x minus two divided by x minus x is 0, 1, plus 2, we have 3. Now we're ready to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. x minus 2, x minus 2 cancels. 3x divided by 3, which is x. That was some pretty intense algebra right there. To be fully sure, you can compose them the other direction and do a lot of work and you should come out with x. Now there's a lot of work that goes into this, so I'm only going to go and do this way right here. The chance that this works out to x and this doesn't is very close to zero. So if you do, you only really need to do one of the two. And whichever one you want, they're generally going to be both just as tricky. I'm going to show you a small shortcut you can do up here that can save a little bit of time. You're going to notice when you do these that you're going to have denominators that are similar here. So what I'm going to do is multiply by x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So I'm just took this right here, brought it down here, I'm multiplying by this. Now I get to distribute x minus 2 to both of these. Cancels x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 cancels. And x minus 2 divided by and do the same thing down here, distributes to both of these terms. So we get 2x plus 2 plus x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 minus x plus 2. 2x plus x is 3x plus 2 minus 2 cancels. x minus x, 0, 1 plus 2, 3. And we get down to x. This can save you a small amount of time, but it's still definitely not easy.